What's up guys on YouTube? How are you guys today? Well, I want to talk to you guys about Bluetooth technology on the good and also the bad about the type of Bluetooth technology we have today. Now, most of this technology is in most new uh, devices and technology as well, like, you know, like computers, uh, cell phones, iPods, uh, iPads, Android tablets, all sorts of devices. It has the Bluetooth technology in it. Now, the disadvantages about having uh, Bluetooth technology is the pairing is quite a problem because you have to turn off all most of your devices to be able to use your one pair of headphones of uh, Bluetooth technology on your computer, your tablet, or what on device you want your headphones to work on. Now, the good advantages about Bluetooth technology is the wireless technology. No more wires to have to worry about that much anymore. But the only uh, disadvantages is the battery life on what the Bluetooth technology doesn't uh, really perform very great. It kills all your devices instantly, like your headphones, your iPods, your iPads, your cell phones, whatever type of device. Make sure you have a fully charged devices like your phones, iPads, iPods, and also headphones as well. Now you guys can see, I have different things on my desk here. I have a wireless pair of Bluetooth headphones, my iPod 5th generation, my Samsung cell phone, and my Rocket 5th receiver Bluetooth, and also this small USB Bluetooth dongle for a desktop or a laptop computer and Mac as well. Now, these two guys don't require batteries. This one requires a 5 volt DC plug. This only requires uh, power from your laptop or your desktop computer. Now, like these devices have a battery like my cell phone, my iPod, and also my Bluetooth headphones. Now, I'm going to go over each of these devices with you guys and show you what these devices will do and why I like using the wireless neural tech Technology instead of using wireless headphones. Now, uh, with wireless headphones, they're cheap and they're very inexpensive. But with going with the Bluetooth technology, it is the a uh, bit more expensive in price and everything else. Now, if you can get a good pair of set of headphones, uh, there you go. That would be the better ideal. Now, I have multiple devices and only one pair of headphones. I have my iPod, I have my phone, I have my desktop, and also I have my laptop by using this one little Bluetooth dongle here, USB dongle, for both my laptop and desktop. But the problem is, is the headphones can only connect to one device, but I can connect them to multiple devices if I have all the Bluetooth turned on or turned off on both of my devices. If I want to connect this to my desktop computer, I have to have my Bluetooth off on my iPod and also on my cell phone. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about this one because this one here doesn't compare with the Bluetooth headphones. Now, I'm going to show you the headphones. I only have one pair of headphones right now. Just going to show you guys. This is a wireless technology by the way this is considered Bluetooth technology but you have to unrepair and repair the headphones to all of your devices like your iPod touch if you have iPod like this one you can also do that as well but and if you have a cell phone like a standard cell phone like this one this also has Bluetooth so does my uh, iPod Touch 5th generation, but not all uh, devices will have Bluetooth technology. That's the reason why you can purchase this Bluetooth 
receiver for your uh, stereo or your speakers. 5 volt opt audio and also the standard audio out with using these type of jacks. Very nice, very nicely designed, well built for a very uh, pretty expensive little guy for this one as well. And this is my tiny little Bluetooth dongle. This will hook up to your laptop with a USB and also a desktop with a USB. All you do is you plug this in the back of your computer. Now, let's talk about the disadvantages of having Bluetooth technology if you have multiple devices like a laptop, a desktop, a cell phone, and a iPod. Okay, you have four devices that have four same type of Bluetooth technology and you only have one uh, pair of headphones and you want to pair this to your computer you can do that as well but make sure your computer is turned off if you want to repair this to your iPod make sure you pair it to your iPod if you want to pair this to your phone make sure your computer, your laptop and your iPod is off and you can also pair it in your uh, phone as well. Now, what do I mean about Bluetooth technology is I will actually uh, briefly show you guys on what the issue can occur when you have so many devices that have Bluetooth on it. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that. This is my Bluetooth settings on my iPod. I can leave this on. Okay. You guys can see I have my computer, my Bluetooth receiver, and also my headphones. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave that on. <clears throat> I'm going to lock the screen. And I'm going to take my cell phone, and we're going to turn on Bluetooth as well on my phone. And we're just going to go ahead and turn it on by the settings on my phone. Now, the biggest problem, because now the two devices or have the Bluetooth on instead of off because this is create, can create a problem with these uh, two devices here this one this one because now these headphones appeal to four different things my desktop my iPod my phone and also my laptop as well by using multiple Bluetooth it can be quite of a pain because you have to turn off one or the other one and like I said if I connect the Bluetooth to my iPod what I gotta do is I need to turn off the Bluetooth on my phone here and that's what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to hit the off switch to turn my Bluetooth off on my phone and now my uh, phone Bluetooth is off and if I want to connect my headphones to my iPod all I have to do is hit the on button and it will eventually connect to my iPod if it doesn't I can also go into my iPod settings and also turn on Bluetooth as well where well, you guys can see the Bluetooth is now on on my iPod it's pretty cool on how amazing Bluetooth technology can get in all sorts of different ways. But biggest problem is the Bluetooth technology is now the Bluetooth is on on here. Okay, say I want to connect my phone, my headphones to my phone, is now I have to go here onto my iPod Touch and actually turn off switch off my Bluetooth on my iPod to able to now connect my headphones to my phone and I can now do that by turning the Bluetooth back on on my cell phone now this is a very easy step here is now I just connect now I turn my Bluetooth on on my phone now we're just going to go ahead and shut that off. And now what we're going to do, because this is now turned on, we're going to go ahead and hit the connect button of my headphones onto my cell phone and show you why when you connect a device 
by using Bluetooth. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect the, the phone to my iPod or to my headphones by using the connect me in here. And we're going to hit the yes button. And sometimes if that doesn't work, as you can see now it seems to work now because now I have it turned on and now my headphones are connected to my phone now. Big uh, problem with these uh, headphones because I have four different devices. I have my desktop computer, my iPod, my phone and also my laptop using Bluetooth technology. Now I gotta turn the headphones back off again. Tell you where to connect this back to my iPod, I have to make sure I actually turn the Bluetooth off my phone. And this is a big problem with Bluetooth technology because you constantly have to go through your technology and switch Bluetooth on or Bluetooth off to be able to get it to work. Now, one thing you gotta make sure you worry about. Now, remember this one here, I can't peel this to these because this won't work. This will work with my uh, computer, my phone, or my iPod, and that's the easiest way to do that as well. But it won't work with the uh, phone or the uh, headphones because it doesn't have a pair button on this or also on this to be able to connect these two together. It just won't work that way. But you know, this is some of the issues with Bluetooth technology. I do love Bluetooth technology because of a couple of reasons. Because Bluetooth is a better way of getting rid of headphones. Completely wireless pair of headphones and also going with a wireless pair of headphones. Now, of course, Bluetooth technology is not very cheap, guys. It can be quite expensive in certain ways of technology as well. And on when technology advances, we're going to see more devices going to have Bluetooth technology built into it as well. Like stereos, call receivers, uh, receivers for calls, computers, all sorts of uh, Bluetooth type of technology we're going to see in the future. And technology, Bluetooth technology has been around. For a couple of years now, but it's a very good idea to get into the game of using Bluetooth technology, guys. Alright, guys, if you're very new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Please like, please share. Peace out. Bye, guys. We'll see you in the next vlog.